for the input of row vectors, column vectors, and matrices in Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, you're typically limited in the general user interface just to three. So here's a one by two row vector. And here's a one by three row vector. Now what happens if we want a one by four row vector? Well, as you can see, it's not listed here. So let's just select a one by three row vector. And then under the drop down menu, we'll change it to linear. And you'll see that there's two and signs. So the and signs are used as delimiters to start a new column. So let's just add an additional and sign and then go back to professional. And now we've got a one by four row vector. And that's the way to do it. So what about columns? Once again, if we go to the general user interface, we've got two by one column vector. And we've got a three by one column vector. Okay, so what happens if we want a four by one column vector? Once again, it's not in the menu, so we need to select a three by one and then change it to linear. And here we see that we're using the at sign as a delimiter to move on to the next row. So let's convert it back to professional and now we've got a four by one column vector. So with matrices, it's a similar kind of thing. You've got a two by two matrix. And you've got a three by three matrix. Okay, so what happens if we want a four by four? Well, if we go to the general user interface, we only see we've got a three by three. Let's select that, let's change it to linear. Now we've got the and and the at as delimiters. And we only need to add one more of each in. Like this and we change it back to professional and we've got our four by four. And by doing this and typing in the correct delimiters, you can set the size that you want. Now in PowerPoint, it's not available to switch to linear and professional. However, you can make your matrix in Microsoft Word and simply just copy it over to PowerPoint. So let's create a five by five matrix now. So let's insert the three by three and let's add two more ands as delimiters. And now let's just copy the last set of at and four ands and add it to the end. Okay. Okay, the paste is in the way here. Okay. So let's just click out of it, click back in that, and we can switch it to professional. And so you can basically make a matrix of any dimension that you want. So let's have a look at it in linear. And here we go. So it's one and two and three and four and five. That moves to the next column in each 
and, and then it's at, moving to the next row, and then 6, and 7, and 8, and 9, and 10, and then at, moving to the next row, and then 11, and 12, and 13, and 14, and 15, and then at, moving to the next row, and 16, and 17, and 18, and 19, and 20, and then at, moving to the next row, and then 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, so let's just create x equals and once again we're stuck by this 3 by 3 limitation and there's no means to switch to linear. So let's just copy and paste what we made in Microsoft Word. And now we have our matrix.